this, this right here is hype. And so if you didn't already know what this is and you've been living under a rock, this, this is the start of the new overdress format. Uh, well, maybe D format. Well, this is the uh, the new overdress start deck, start deck 01 UU condo. And right there in the front, you can see a uh, very shiny Nirvana right there. And here you see UU. And here's the side of the box, the new Dragon Empire logo thingy. And here is the deck list right here at the bottom. And then uh, at the other side, we got this again, at the bottom right here. And let's get into this. And so interestingly, uh, if, you didn't or if you didn't already notice, uh, this, the design of this uh, box is very much inspired or uh, re in reference to the old uh, start or trial decks. Uh, the very first, actually no, maybe not the very first, I, I, I have no idea, I've completely forgotten, but this is uh, in reference to the old start decks packaging, as you can see right on your screen right there. And so, right inside, we have a we have the playmat right here, the paper playmat. And yes, you see right there the new over trigger. Let's open this up. Yes. So this time, uh, there is a blue Vanguard circle, and like uh, uh, usually. Like at least the old uh, trial decks, you actually get the red Vanguard circle instead of the blue one. And then the overdress, uh, all the zone, yes, for the prison. And then here's a QR code for uh, some reasons. And so yeah, that is the playmat, the paper playmat that you should very much be transitioning into rubber playmats very soon. But it's still great for people starting out. And here's the deck itself, and there we see Nirvana. Where's this? Yep. And right here. Oh, oh. Let's slowly pull this up. And so, without further ado, let's start off with four copies of. Chakrabarti Divine Dragon Nirvana and his or she or its skill is basically uh, act on Vanguard Circle once per turn cause discard one card from your hand choose a grade 0 from your drop and call it to Vanguard Circle and so basically you just use this to call out your uh, trick star from this deck and his second skill is auto on Vanguard Circle when this unit attacks Counter plus one and this unit and all of your units with overdress ability gets power plus 10k until the end of the turn. So the only card in this deck that has the overdress ability is by Rina. And so basically if you have uh Nirvana by by Rina by Rina, you're basically getting a free front trigger. Well not really free, you need a counter plus one, so yeah, you basically counter plus one for a front trigger. Uh and with the new uh, Persona right, which you can see better like that. With the new Persona right, you can actually uh, Persona right uh, Nirvana, and then you basically plus 20 and draw one instead of just plus 10. And so Nirvana is going to be your new ace card, really nice design, really nice foiling. So this is the design without the foiling. So let's move on to our next card. Next. Uh, Next place that actually. Uh, we have four copies of Blaze Maiden Rayu. And so Rayu's skill is basically uh, when this unit uh, is rolled upon by uh, Nirvana, right here, you will basically search your deck for one Byrina and add it into your hand. Yeah, you have to reveal it to your opponent and add it into your hand. So basically, this reassures that you actually have a Byrina for. Nirvana's effect, which is pretty really nice, and in conjunction with the great one that we'll see later, this uh, makes it a very good 
right target, Ex uh, especially since there's the new uh, right deck. So it, basically, it definitely places in your right deck if you're playing uh, Dragon Empire. And her second skill, which is not really that good, is Bang Out Circle, Rear Guard Circle. When she attacks, she passes twin, uh, 2k. Yes, and during the battle that this unit attack, uh, it gets plus 2k. And so that's not really really nice because it doesn't really hit magic numbers, it's just a 12k attacker. And so yeah, that's kinda kinda niche, but it's fine. Her first skill makes up for that. And next, four copies of Dra uh, Blaze Maiden Reno. And so Reno's skill is basically when she's rolled upon by Rayu, you will search your deck for one uh, Trick Star, and then you add him, uh, and then you call him. Yeah, you basically call Trick Star, and so with Trick Star, you can actually overdress into Virena, and we'll talk about that later. But for now, this, this, and this is basically your main ride that you'll be definitely having in your ride deck. So. And Reno's second skill is this, pretty much the same as Rayu, which uh, during the battle she attacked, she pluses 2k, which is not very very nice. But she is a 10k attacker, so if you don't have any in, uh, if you don't have any great tools, you can basically just call her to front row, attack for 10 to uh, trade rears. So yeah, play four. Next we yeah, have the very mighty. Sunrise Egg. Yes, this is the new starter, which is when you rode upon him and you're going second, you draw one card. So it's pretty cool. It basically perf perfects the new D format, I guess you could say. Uh, so that's pretty nice. Now next, we play three of Fire Slash Dragon Inferno Sword. So Inferno Sword isn't really that interesting as well. It's basically Probably the worst grade 3 out of all the grade 3's uh, we had from the other start decks. But it's fine. Basically what this guy is, is just a 15k uh, attacker. When he attacks, he passes 2k. It's basically the same skill as Reno and Rayu. But you know, never mind, it's fine. We can... We don't really need to worry about him because I think usually you just use him as PG fodder, or just basically just call him for fun. Attack 15 to a rear, or maybe to even Vanguard. You, uh, I haven't really tested this deck, anyways. Uh, so, if, so you have three of him. The next, this is probably the star of the deck, but I think the star is probably still Nirvana. But we have four Virena. So Virena here has a very nice border. Very different border actually from what we have right here. But uh, Virena's skill is basically overdress Trickstar. And so that's the first skill which basically you can overdress him on top of Trickstar and only on Trickstar. And so, what overdress is, is basically you may place it by stacking it on a, the specific unit uh, stated, which is Trickstar. And Instead of normal calling it into a rearguard circle, you basically overdress him and you get his overdress effects. And so you are basically minusing one yourself, but it isn't really much of a minus if you use uh, Reno and Rayu, but more or less, it is still a minus one because you are sacrificing one card with your hand to gain his overdress effects. And his overdress effects isn't really that good, I'm gonna be honest with you, but this is still pretty cool. It's still pretty cool to have a rear guard right overdress, but let's go into his overdress ability actually. Which is auto on rear. When this unit is in overdress state and attacks a Vanguard, yes, yes, that attack a Vanguard, he passes 10k until the end of the battle, then costs Soul Blast 2 and choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. And so basically, you don't need to Soul Blast 2 and you can already attack for 20. So basically what will happen is, you have a Nirvana, 
you have a Byrina, you have a Byrina. If you over just the, the two Byrinas, you basically attack for 20, attack for 20 itself. But if you use Byrina skill, uh, Karamas 1, when he. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's when he attacks, or maybe it's Karamas 1, I'm not too sure. But basically, Karamas 1 and your whole front row plus is 10k. And so this will be a 30k attack. This will be a 30k attack. And then your Nirvana will be a 23. So yeah, Vyrina, really good. And even if he's not in overdress state, he has the overdress effect. So he will still plus 10k from Vyrina's effect. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Even if you can't overdress. Now next, we play the... Actually no, it's not we play. Oh damn it. I, I'm too used to deck profiles. Not we play, but we have the three... Uh, this is a vanilla, yes. You will want to replace this as soon as possible. And you'll probably use this as PG fodder as well, or just guard fun. Uh, what, and what is his name? His name is Iron Ball Dragon Anki Bowler. And so, yes, Taki, Tachikaze fans. I'm so sorry, but your, uh, your, your thing in this start deck is a vanilla. I feel so bad for you, but this is, it's still pretty cool, right? Its art is still pretty cool. And Zazan is still a thing in premium, so I guess I guess you can use this with Zazan, but we'll see. And next we have four copies of the PG. And this is Escort Stealth Dragon Hayashi Kaze. And so if you didn't already know what's a PG basically, you just place him on Vanguard Circle, not Vanguard Circle, on Guardian Circle, discard one card from your hand and you nullify one attack. Very much, basically. And next, probably the cutest guy in this deck. Probably the star of the deck as well. Haha. <laughs> Trickstar! Yes. Chibi. Chibi man right here. Very awesome Trickstar. Yes, he's. What what he is, what he basically is, is basically continuous on Rearguard Circle. This unit cannot be chosen by your opponent's card effects. So basically, if you have three back row Trickstars, your, your, yeah, you're up against a Brangate opponent, they can't. They can't. Be, they basically just can't touch your back row at all. They can't. You know, jail your back row at all. So yeah, Trickstar. I guess yeah, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. Right? I don't care. Against Brangate, yes, Trickstar. Mwah, this guy's awesome. He's so cute, so cute. Need to play for him, and he's gonna upgrade into Ooh, Byrina. And so going into the triggers. One over trigger. Yes, this is the over trigger that everyone is, has been hyping out about. Sort of. Not really, but basically you reveal this uh, one unit pluses uh, this definitely more than a million. I can't even read that. Like, look at that print. Look at that print. How how you how do you even read that, man? And uh, it's skill. When you reveal this in a drive check, which is basically uh, give another unit plus, uh, well, basically infinite. Uh, I don't really want to read that. I can't even really read that. Uh, and then when you reveal him for a damage check, he basically goes out of the game and give one unit uh, plus infinite basically. And we have 4 crit. Yes, this is not an effect crit, this just tells you what the crit does which is, I guess like yeah, people need to know. So yeah, 4 crit. And then the very standard 4 draw, 5k shields. Uh, yeah, I'm not used to this at all. Actually, I'm, I am pretty used to this, but uh, it's, I'm not really that used to it because I'm more used to draw PGs. And three fronts because we have the one over trigger. Actually, let me bring this here. And then definitely four heals. And the heals, yeah, they've gone uh, They've gone into 15k, which is pretty, pretty cool. Not really, not really that cool, but... If you didn't, if you couldn't already tell and you uh, didn't really see, right here, Nirvana, Reno, Rayu, and the Eggman, and the crits and the heals, basically form a really really big nice picture right here. Nice art actually. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Yeah. 
So that's basically what the Dragon Empire one looks like and if you don't want this foiled, you can look at this like this. You can see the wings, you can see the design popping out. Basically, a lot of Legion shit going on. So yeah. And then, last but not least, uh, in this deck, we have three of the Order, which is... what is this? What is this? Sunburst Evo Evolution. And so what it does is, basically, counter plus one uh, to play this order, and choose one of your units and it gets plus 5k until the end of the turn, and choose one Vyrena from your drop and return it into your hand. So yeah, this basically makes you be able to overdress into Vyrena if you have the Trickstar on field. Very awesome Trickstar. Yep, and then it also gives one unit, plus 5k, which isn't really really big, but I guess you can stack this effect if you want to, but I don't think you should. So yeah, that's pretty... Oh yeah, this is a pretty helpful order right here. And so yeah, that is basically the deck right here. The uh, start deck 01 UU condo. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys next time.